we are at the Zambia Air Services uh, Training Institute, uh, just located adjacent to the Kenneth Kaunda Airport. And I have Mr. Claudius here, who's doing avionics, and he'll explain to us what uh, avionics is. So, sir, hi. Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm uh, fine, thank you. So, uh, what is avionics? All right. Okay. So, avionics is a type of aircraft maintenance okay. engineering, uh -huh. but this type is used in mostly uh, on the electrical part, uh -huh. that is integration of uh, the electric part and other systems of an aircraft. So, aircraft. Yes. All right. So, you do mostly the electronic parts. Yes. Um, so, the electronic part. Uh, uh, that ranges from uh, wiring systems then after that then uh, we also do autopilot uh -huh. as well as uh, aircraft navigation communication systems that's all electronics as well as instruments oh yeah so <laughs> so let's say maybe if you are you want to be hired by someone who's making an aircraft you can do with the electrical parts and everything you can wire the systems of course i can right so you're saying autopilot uh, that requires some kind of programming do you guys yeah, I'm going to that just scratch bit or recording part. Uh, no, not really. Uh -huh. But then uh, we dive um, a bit into digital electronics, uh -huh. which gives us some sort of an insight of how computers relate and how they um, uh, process data and give our, uh, give out outputs. Mm. Yeah. So you guys will work with the black box. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the black box. Yeah. Well, is that, that <laughs> I I don't know much about uh, uh, aircrafts, but. Something I know is that the black box is something that uh, they put the plane like this one, let's say a big one, and something wrong goes on. It sends it, what does it do? Does it send signals to to the air base? Right. Yes, yes. Okay. I, I don't understand that. <laughs> Please explain to me. All right, that's a very good question. Yeah. So what happens is that uh, the black box. Yeah. It's, it's not even black actually. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's it's orange. It's orange. It's usually painted orange or bright yellow. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is um, the, the official name is actually put that flight data recorder flight data recorder flight, yeah. as well as flight data recorder <laughs> <laughs> as well as a uh, cockpit voice recorder it's uh, and if you put flight data parameters that is engine thrust on uh, aircraft speed uh -huh. uh, surface wind and uh, a lot of uh, other a whole lot of other uh, parameters that an aircraft are operating that is then uh, on the cockpit voice recording part it uh -huh. records the last 30 minutes uh, conversations that uh, occur between the crew inside the cockpit as uh -huh. well as between ATC so what happens is that um, uh, in case uh, of a crash, uh, black boxes uh, get to be triggered. Yeah, in case of a uh, crash, they get to be triggered either uh, by um, the hard impact force that causes the accelerometers to uh, send a signal to uh -huh. any uh, nearby tower. And those pings, uh, they're actually, actually called pings, those pings can be detected and would aid in finding the crash site. The crash site, yeah. Right. So basically, it's like the brain. Of, of the plane uh, how would you put it in, okay, in, in the layman's language right for someone who is going to watch this video and has a question saying what's the black box can you just simplify it in a way that even a commoner from let's say any place can just someone who hasn't been uh, stepped into a classroom or something could would understand what a black box is all right okay so a black box i'd say is a component that is installed on an aircraft and what this component does is that uh in case of a crash it will ping out to aid in finding the crash location then once it is recovered it reviews uh flight parameters flight data that is uh, what happened during the flight during the phase the of the flight all right yeah. so that that box makes it possible for you to know the reason why the crash happened yeah, of course nah, nice 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 right so uh so far you're in, what year are you in i'm actually in my third year third year all right yes. so um for the past three years that you've been here at zesty have you have you faced any challenges in terms of school ah yes the <laughs> challenges um okay so aviation is a program that uh we've got we hold safety to a very high standard very very high so that is uh we're talking about um i love to use this term ridiculously high passing marks oh. yeah so we've got really really high passing marks mm -hmm. and um other than that i'd say my interest or my desire to do something aviation related because i really wanted to become just an aircraft mechanic aircraft designer and all that so i just pushed myself but then yeah it's quite a I'd say it's a challenge in terms of uh, it's not really what we thought it, it wasn't it, it's not um, the roses that we thought it was going to be but then yeah so in terms of uh, the high pass marks and um, yeah I'd say that's uh, that's the biggest challenge that's that I've, I've had to deal with yeah right so 
all the tests and exams have the same standard pass mark. There's yes. no compromise. No, no, there, there, there isn't a compromise. Compromise, right? No. So for this for this course, in terms of um, in terms of practical stuff, do you guys balance the work? Right. I asked Mr. Nicholas at first. Yeah, I mm-hmm. said they balance. It's uh, from class, the workshop class, the hangar class. So for you guys, is it the same? Yes. So what happens is that um, on the electrical part, if they, if if, if you're being told what how they generate all that, uh, of course you need to see the armature or the components that make up that generator. So what happens is that uh, after we have um, the theory part of it. Then we get exposed to the the physical part of it, and uh, that's a more or less practical part of it. And um, since it's a, it's actually a three year, uh, six months program. That is the first three years. It's initial training. Three then the six months that's uh, attachment. Attachment. Yeah. Then uh, yeah, that's uh, where we get to do a lot more practicals. But then uh, going back to to, to to the initial training, yeah, we do get exposed to uh, the components that we deal with. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Yeah. Right. So, um, what are the opportunities for this course, right? So, after you're done with everything, what, why do you think you could work apart from the airport? Is there any other place that an avionics engineer can can actually do some work there? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, we're talking about electricity, okay, <laughs> so obviously yeah. uh, we're bringing Zisco into the picture, uh, and elect- the electronics part of it. We're bringing companies uh, that deal with electronics. And uh, we're talking about uh, places like the mines. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's electricity, a lot of electricity there. And uh, we're talking about uh, telecoms. Yeah, um, just just, just, a lot. Just, yeah, a lot. just just a lot. Especially where electricity is involved. So yeah, the likes of Zesco, uh, the mines, um, the said ma- uh, the, the, the mentioned uh, the hangars, yeah, the airport. That is. Yeah. Mm, nice. So you're basically an electrical engineer. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. This 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 course is really interesting. Huh? <laughs> yeah. More or less, an electrical engineer, but for planes. For planes. Right? Yeah. That's true. But electricity. Yeah. Electricity is the same everywhere. So. That's it. Right. Wow. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Actually, I've I had the wrong idea of what a black box is. Oh, so okay. Today, at least, you've cleared the air for me. All right. All right so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Claudius. Uh, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, this has been Mr. Claudius doing uh, avionics at Zesty Zambia Air Services Training Institute. It's just adjacent to Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Those that would want to inquire more about what avionics is are free to visit this place. You can just go there and ask them questions. And yeah, this, uh, these guys will welcome you. They, uh, of course, have welcomed us with uh, open arms. So, I would definitely do that too. Thank you very much, guys.